I'm Erin Gray. Welcome to Avon Calling on You. This is a beauty and health report that can make a big difference in the way you look and feel. Today our topic is skin. It's the first thing people notice, and healthy skin enhances our beauty. You may not realize your skin is the body's largest organ and needs to be cared for. All too often it's neglected, even abused. That can cause problems for health as well as appearance. But the good news is, is that everyone's skin has a chance to renew itself every day. Day in, day out, at work, at play, our skin takes a beating. But with proper care, even troubled skin can make a comeback. The first step to better skin care is learning how your skin renews itself beneath the surface. The skin is composed of two layers. The bottomless layer is the dermis, and this contains many of the life support systems of the skin, as well as collagen and elastin, which forms the cushion and elasticity of skin. In the basal cell section of the epidermis, new cells are constantly being produced and pushed up to the surface layer, the stratum corneum. These skin cells are constantly being shed, giving you the chance for younger looking skin every day. But even the most beautiful skin can come under attack. Cold, wind, dirt, and pollution all take their toll on the outer layer of skin. The best rescue is daily attention. Cleansing washes away makeup, dirt, and pollution. Toning lifts off dead skin cells. And moisturizing helps protect those new skin cells. But the first step is choosing the right products. The skin should be reevaluated every three to four months, and then skin care products selected according to what the current condition of your skin is. For instance, in the summertime when the skin tends to get a little bit more oily, we would then select a moisturizer that is lighter in weight or formulated for oily skin. Avon's Daily Revival moisturizers are specially formulated for every skin type, normal combination, oily or dry. Stress affects you inside and out. Your skin reflects your lifestyle by becoming dull and sallow. The lack of sleep can make lines and wrinkles more pronounced. How do you rescue stressed skin? Start by boosting your vitamin C and A intake. Citrus fruits and green vegetables will replenish these vitamins, which are used up more rapidly by stress. Exercise helps too, as does sleep, and water and fiber are skin enhancers as well. Stressed out skin does get very dull looking, very tired, and it loses moisture. A product like Avon's Visible Advantage tends to help restore that moisture, gives the skin back a very healthy, glowing look, and you would use that in combination with your regular moisturizer. But you also need to prepare yourself to encounter your skin's most potent enemy. Every day, uh, we are all exposed to incidental or minor exposures to sunlight. In a lifetime, all of this accumulated damage uh, results in about 85% of the premature facial aging that everyone experiences. The sun's UVB ultraviolet rays cause damage to the surface layer, actually changing the shape of the cells. UVA ultraviolet rays, which penetrate clouds, even glass, affect every layer of the skin. In fact, exposure to the sun's rays without protection can lead to skin cancer. Sunscreens can protect your skin from these harmful effects. The skin does need protection from the sun every day, even on cloudy days. And an easy way to do this is by applying a moisturizer daily that contains a sun protection factor. The Daily Revival moisturizers do contain a sun protection factor of six. But more prolonged exposure to the sun requires sunblocks, such as Avon Sun Seekers, which come in a range of protection factors depending on your personal needs. There's also help for your skin already prematurely aged by the sun and other enemies. Scientists have discovered that regular application of vitamin A can actually help skin return to a more youthful looking state. Avon customers already know how well retinol works in BioAdvance. Now there's help for even more pronounced signs of aging. There's BioAdvance 2000 with more than twice the amount of retinol. Regular use of BioAdvance or BioAdvance 2000 will help you restore smoother, more resilient skin. Caring for your skin is really very simple, and it bears daily dividends because your skin renews itself every day, and you have a chance to look and feel wonderful. I'm Erin Gray for Avon Calling on You.
Thanks for watching. Hello again, and welcome to the program dedicated to your Avon success. The key to that success is feeling good about yourself, about what you know, and about what you can offer your customers. You know, when Avon asked me to be a part of this program, I was delighted, because Avon has so much to offer women. Opportunity, value, quality, service. The opportunities are everywhere. You're about to find out wonderful ways to reach customers, and you'll be seeing and hearing a lot about the products you'll be able to offer your customers this summer. And I hope you're also going to have fun, because whether it's a makeover, a summer fashion preview, or a visit to Florida for tips on warm weather selling, you can relax and enjoy yourself, because this program is all yours. You can come back to this tape again and again to get more news you can use. America is out there waiting for you. And if you're going to reach out to new customers, you need to really know your market. So let's take a look at who the 90s consumers are. What are their needs? And how does Avon fit those needs? Doris McMillan reports. <laughs> Think about your own buying habits. You're more aware. You read labels. You're more selective than you used to be. In fact, you fit right in with the customers of the 90s. Will that be cash to charge? I'd like to charge that. No matter how you sell, getting a consumer to buy your product requires more knowledge than ever before. Consumers of the 1990s are going to be far more sophisticated and better educated than were consumers of the past in the 70s and 80s. And this is going to lead them to look for different things in, pro in the products they buy. Particularly, they're going to be seeking good quality at reasonable prices. They're looking for real value in the products they purchase, not perceived value. To connect with this newly aware customer, you need to know just who she is. And in the 1990s, she is very likely working. Some 75% of women aged 20 to 55 will be working in 1995. That will include two out of three mothers. Compare that to 1950, when only one in eight mothers worked. The 90s mother works because the family needs the income and for personal satisfaction. But let's face it, being a superwoman isn't easy. I work a full-time job. I have three children. Make dinner. And of course I have cleaning and laundry. It seems that I have very little time for myself. The working woman is looking for ways to make her life easier. So the wise 90 salesperson will know when and where to reach that customer and will offer her a way to look polished and professional without spending a lot of money or time in coordinating outfits, makeup, and accessories. Making the most of each moment. That's going to be increasingly important in the 90s. So the special service you can offer your customers becomes especially welcome. The 90s woman will also be more receptive to stress reducers, time savers, and home entertainment and decorating items. Because what leisure time these busy consumers do have will be more likely spent at home. People have a lot more choice of things they can do at home today. The VCR, 30, 40 television channels, thousands of magazines, the home personal computer, and so on and so forth are all reasons for people to spend more of their time at home. That means products for the home will be more popular than ever, and so will shopping at home. And that puts the Avon representative right at home. The Avon representative has plenty to offer her customers concerning another important aspect of 90s lifestyle. 
In 1995, fully 47% of all adult women in this country are going to be over the age of 45. And these mature women are going to continue to be interested in their health, their fitness, and of course, their personal appearance. Finally, the 90s consumer is more caring. Her concern for the world around her will influence her purchasing decisions. To sum up, quality, real value, service, and convenience, these are the key words in the 90s. Salespeople who are able to provide these things will find themselves well positioned to succeed in this decade. Thank you, Doris. It's easy to see how Avon representatives are right in tune with the trends of the 90s. Back in 1978, more people said price was the most important factor in their purchase decisions. Researchers still find prices very important, but now most people say quality is even more important, and Avon is the answer for both of those priorities. So you have a lot to offer the 90s consumer, at home and at work. With so many two-income families and women working outside their home, it's no wonder that selling in workplaces presents a terrific earning opportunity for many representatives. But doing it successfully can call for some special selling strategies. Here are some ideas that can make workplaces work for you, whether you sell where you work or have businesses in your territory. Even in a territory filled with private homes, there may be a workplace you've overlooked. I've gone to every daycare I, I see. Everywhere I drive, I pull in as soon as I see a daycare sign. And it seems to be working. One of my favorite customers is our neighborhood ice cream lady. And she stops right in front of my door and plays her little music until my six-year-old runs out. And uh, I started giving her brochures. Joyce Beatty, one of the top-selling representatives in the country, constantly canvasses her territory for new workplaces. I'll make notes that I found a new building, and before the campaign goes in, I'll try to drop by there, you know, introduce myself. And the main thing was to let them know at the workplace it would not interfere with their job. When she first began selling, Anita Jones found it easier to approach businesses through people she knew. Hi, Anita. Hi, Beth. I think it really helps if you have a friend that works in there and you can go, I'm here to see Susan. Um, and I leave Susan a book, and then while I'm there, somebody might see something, because I always try to have it in an open basket. And I think it helped saying that I was a new representative, and I was trying to build onto my territory, so they were understanding. When I go to a bank, or an insurance company, a real estate office, or any business like that, I'll find that one girl in there is always willing to handle the books. I use a bright red envelope that's easy to spot in case she's not at her desk when I come in. And even if they're busy, all I have to do is pick up the red envelope, and that has uh, the orders and payments for the, the orders that I had delivered earlier in the day. I do go to a lot of businesses, offices where I don't have a lot of time in the office. I have to go in, drop off the books, drop off the Avon products, and leave again because I don't want to disturb them. And it's a stacking toy. Mm -hmm. So I set up an appointment with them during their lunch yeah, hour. The and it does work used. better. I bring in my Shades. products, my brochures, samples, and little. we discuss the products. And they can make a real Could you put one at a time in and tell me the letters as you see them? Lorraine Smith packs revolving demo bags to leave with helpers. Each is filled with demos, samples, and brochures, as well as products for purchase from the same product category. And what I do is I drop off a bag on my rounds, and they have about three to four working days to browse through those bags before I come back, and I would switch out bags. I'd take the bag I left them, and I'd leave them a new bag full of products. How do you handle selling in your own place of employment? May Hall was hesitant at first. I didn't know how the people in the office would receive me. You know, I didn't know if they would think of me as a nuisance. People were very receptive. Uh, what I would do is leave uh, brochures laying around my desk, and someone would come by and say, oh, you sell Avon? And after a while, people started coming to me. 
May also takes advantage of social activities with co-workers to sell. Her husband also takes brochures to his job. To increase sales, May and her husband put a note in each brochure saying that anyone with a minimum order will be entered in a raffle for a demo product. So he's cheering for his customers and I'm cheering for my customers because he wants somebody that he serves to win and I want someone that I serves to win. And so far, um, I think I'm ahead. <laughs> So, if you want to get ahead in a workplace, you might want to keep some of those ideas in mind. Now it's time to psych up for summer. Most of us like to get out and have fun when summer comes, and that sense of fun includes the way we look. We color our toenails hot pink, we buy wonderful floppy hats, we wear fun sunglasses. But first things first, we need to start with the right makeup for summer, and Avon has all the right moves in that department. And what better way to show them off than with a makeover? Here's National Beauty and Fashion Director Kathleen Wallace. The look for fashion and makeup as we start the 1990s is either bold and bright or soft and natural. Today we're going to talk about a makeup look to wear with lightweight pastel clothing. And here to help us demonstrate is Angela McCabe, a President's Club representative, mother of two from Norwalk, Connecticut. Hi, Angela. Hi, Kathleen. Well, you had your foundation on already, so the first thing that we're going to start with is the eye makeup. To begin, we'll apply Avon Color Silk Finish Eyeshadow in Honey Brown in the crease of the lid to contour the eye. Blend it well. This is one of the new matte shades, perfect for today's natural looks. Now we'll highlight with pink sand to open up the eye. Apply it under the brow and on the lid starting from the inner corner and blend it together with the brown. Now to define the eye, Avon Color Eye Coloring Pencil in Real Teal. Start about halfway on the top and then go halfway under the bottom lashes to make your eyes seem more wide set. Next, here's a little color mascara from the Color Active line. We'll use brown for the top lashes. It gives just a hint of color, but leaves your eyes looking very natural. A hot new idea in mascara. It doesn't smudge or run, so it's especially perfect for summer. And for fun, let's try a little color mascara in teal on the bottom lashes. This will also coordinate with the eye pencil. Use the wand both vertically and horizontally to separate the lashes and prevent clumping. Now to add color to your face, Avon Color Natural Radiance Blush Stick in Barely Rose. To control the amount, apply just three dots starting in the middle of the cheekbone. Blend downward and out toward the hairline. This is the correct technique for blending any makeup product because it prevents clogging of the pores. To balance the color on your face, here's Color Rich Lipstick in Frostiest Mauve. This is one of the super frost shades so popular with Avon customers. Terrific for summer, and they're available in Campaign 14. Finish the makeup look with a light dusting of Avon Advanced Foundation Translucent Powder on the forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin. This will set the makeup and help it stay on longer, especially important in the summer. Angela, you really look great and very natural. Compare that to you without makeup. With me now is Avon representative Gail Hauser, also from Norwalk, Connecticut. As we know, summertime is also an active time for most of us. And for the busy woman on the go, it's important for her to know which makeup products are essential for a finished look that take a minimal amount of time. We already began Gail's makeup with Color Active Foundation, which contains a sunscreen. Next, we're going to line the eyes with a glimmer stick in Cosmic Brown. You can bring it all the way to the inner corner because your eyes are nicely wide set. Now under the lower lashes, start from the outside and work in to avoid pulling the delicate under eye skin. And stop about a quarter of an inch from the inner corner for a cleaner look. Next, sweep silk finish eyeshadow in sea green across the lid from the inner corner to the outer corner for a bright summer or evening look. Next, apply wash off waterproof mascara in rich black to both upper and lower lashes. 
And now, Gail, one of two exciting new products, Color Release Long Wearing Blush in Unlimited Brandy. Sweep it right along the cheekbones. The color renews itself, so it stays fresh without reapplying throughout the day. And here's the other new product, Color Release Long Wearing Lipstick in 24 Hour Red. It too provides hours of beautiful renewable color. And after a quick dusting of translucent powder, here's how great you look. Thanks, Kathleen. That was wonderful. You know, with summer heat and humidity, products that stay on are essential. So your customers will be glad to know that Avon will be introducing Color Release Long Wearing Blush in Campaign 16. Like Color Release Long Wearing Lipstick, it provides non-stop color throughout the day because it actually renews itself hours after it's been applied. It's a true Avon innovation. There's nothing else like it on the market. Here's something else you'll find interesting. A book written by Kathleen Wallace and Avon executive Gail Blanke. It's called Taking Control of Your Life, The Secrets of Successful Enterprising Women. It helps you develop your best personal image and use it to influence others. Now that's something important to read this summer. Summertime and the living is easy. And the selling can be easier too because there are lots of customers out there just waiting for you. Jeffrey Lyons is here with some great ideas. Aaron, we went to the summertime source for this report, to Florida, where representatives sell outdoors in their territories all year long. You'll find it's easy to translate their experience to your own environment because the kinds of places where they connect with customers can be found just about everywhere. I have a lot of garage sales. A good place would be um, some place like a pro shop where people get out for the summer to pick up on their golf supplies, um, tennis supplies. And an ideal place, of course, is the pool. Poolside selling is pretty easy because you walk right up to people and they're there, they may need sunscreen products. At the pool, in the park, on the beach. Anywhere people gather in the summertime is an opportunity to sell. But you can create your own summertime event as well. In case you thought open houses were only for Christmas, there's nothing like one in warm weather to bring people and products together. It's cool and refreshing. You can bring out iced tea and the children can play and then you can concentrate on the mothers and sell to the moms in a very relaxed atmosphere in a very nice setting. And to really concentrate on the customers, try turning over the hostess duties to someone else. You can offer your hostess something special for doing it, which will make up for her time and it is a minimal cost to us because we have our discount. You could even call it a potluck open house where someone may bring some, a dish and meet other friends. Make it a situation well there where they will enjoy meeting other people as well as enjoy buying the product that you are offering to them. Some honor society representatives have found new customers by taking their Avon business to pleasant summer settings in their territories. When I go to the beach I uh take my books. I, I take about 120, 150 books with me. I have samples, three or four baskets with cologne samples in case anybody does ask. I take about 45 minutes to an hour on the beach giving out samples and stuff. It's generally a very easy thing to do. Carol's territory includes a business district. She points out that re-canvassing is important in the summer when some businesses open up again. Another way to find new business is through activities with your children. I take my children to the park armed with a bag of samples and books and all kinds of goodies and I give them out to people and I get new customers that way and I get old customers to sample new products that way. Of course summer also means vacation time and the representatives we spoke with stress the importance of finding out when your customers are going and getting their orders before they leave. I speak to my customer of course throughout the year and I jot down when they have mentioned that they are going somewhere. Just a couple campaigns usually before I know that they're actually going to go, I'll ask them if they have stocked up on um, suntan lotion, on Skin So Soft, all the real basics. I will stock them up with trial sizes, which makes it a lot easier to travel with, obviously. And then, of course, there's always, if they're visiting relatives or a friend that they haven't seen in some time, kind of suggest little gifts for them to take along to make them a better guest in their friend's home. Ah yes, it's always nice to show up for a visit with a gift. 
Tell me, Jeffrey, I'll bet those Florida representatives have some great ideas for staying cool while selling in the heat. They sure do, Erin. They'll be the first to tell you that you're more comfortable in the early morning or late afternoon when it's cooler. Right, good idea. Any others? Well, Joanne keeps products, fragrance and skin lotions in the fridge. She takes them to customers. They feel immediately refreshed. When she looks cool and they feel cool, they're more apt to buy. Ooh, I like that one. Good. Thank you very much, Jeff. My pleasure, Erin. This summer, Avon is offering some special products, perfect for summer entertaining and gift giving. We asked the representatives for some ideas on how to sell them. The potpourri would be a fabulous gift to take if you're going on vacation and you want to have um, a gift for someone's home. That's a particularly nice one. Everyone welcomes potpourri. The frog and the elephant planter might serve as utensil holders if the uh, silverware would like wrapped in napkins. The Farmer and the pig would be an adorable house gift for anyone because country is so big right now. The Snoopy Whirly gig is a great item to put on your front lawn in the summertime. People will stop by and probably ask you where you got it because it is so cute. I also think that the penguins are cute for just around the pool. They're plastic so the children can even drink out of them. Now, let's talk about what's new in fashion this summer. No matter what time of year it is, personal appearance is always important. You are Avon to your customers, and if you look terrific, they're going to be interested. Here to give us some tips on how to look your best is Nancy Heggy, the Director of Marketing for Ann Klein 2. Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me, Erin. It's a pleasure. Well, so tell me something about fashion for the summer. Well, this summer, the season, as in every season, we at Ann Klein 2 believe in investment dressing. Mm -hmm. We believe in selecting a few choice pieces that will work well for each individual woman, both for her body type and her lifestyle, mm -hmm. and that she can mix and ma match to create a lot of different looks. And then keep adding to this year after year. Absolutely. We've developed a new Ann Klein 2 at your service program, which is an 800 number that women can call to get one-on-one -on -one fashion advice and yeah, to find out really what will work best for them and what the right choices would be for them for this particular season. Great, and we'll have that number at the end of this show. Yes, we will, we encourage people to use it. Great, and I understand you brought some models. Yes, we did. We have here Inca and Jill. Wonderful, let's take a look. These two looks show the deep, rich, sun-baked colors that we're showing for the season. Notice this feminine draped front skirt that Jill has on, which helps to create a very soft line for what could be a very classic conservative look. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to point out the long blazers that she has. This is our new classic blazer. It's long enough to hit just below the hip line, which is very flattering to most women since the hip really tends to be the widest part of most of us. And it just helps create a nice, long, lean look. Inca's jacket, which is much shorter, hits right above the hip, so bringing the eye upwards. I'd also like to point out how it's nipped at the waist, and this helps create a waistline for someone who might be a bit thicker there than they would actually like to admit to. Lovely. Uh, Jill is wearing the golden hummingbird pin found in campaign 10. Um, animal motifs are very popular this summer. Yes, they are. They're, both girls are wearing the uh, textured sweep earrings, also found in campaign 10. And Inca has added the rich and classic bangled bracelets introduced in campaign 8. Okay, what's next? Well, now we have Rhonda and Jill who are wearing two outfits, which I think are wonderful examples of the investment dressing that I talked about earlier when I came out. Mm, I agree. These pieces can be mixed and matched in any number of ways, both amongst themselves and other things that you might have in your closet. I'd like to point out that Rhonda has on what we call grass cloth. And it's a very, it's 100% silk. It's a really? thicker silk, yeah, so it has more structure to it. But it's a beautiful fabric, has a wonderful texture and sheen to it. Jill has on a new print for us called Caravan Plaid with Dupioni pants. That is our classic trouser. It's a wonderful style. It's um, very soft. The Dupioni is, a, is also 100% silk. It's a finer silk, so uh -huh. it has more of a drape to it. Oh, I know. But the trouser and the style of the trouser is very good for most women. It's very becoming on anybody. If they're thin, it gives them a little fullness. Mm. If they tend to be on the heavier mm -hmm. side, it's a little more forgiving. Good. <laughs> Finishing off both of these outfits are pocket squares, which is just shows a nice attention to detail in a professional look. I see Jill is wearing the hoopla earrings that were introduced in campaign 11. There are three sizes. The largest are shown here. Also a very classic and fun look. On her lapel are the fruity trio stick pins, uh, which will be coming out in campaign 16. This is a nice novelty item. 
They are sold separately, but they can be worn together. Okay. Rhonda's wearing Avon's new favorite twist necklace and earrings in gold tone, which will be introduced in Campaign 17. Okay, Nancy, what's next? Well, now we have a beautiful summer dressing story. Mm. We have Rhonda and Inca in a silk dupioni dress. What I like about this dress is we're showing here with two different jacket styles, so a woman can select the jacket that's most becoming to her figure and both type. And work with the dresses, too. Yes, it, it's, it's a pretty story. It's also wonderful because in the summer, when it's so hot, you can wear the dress by itself, and when you go into an air-conditioned place, you can put on the jacket. Oh, aren't they nice? I love those dresses. Aren't they pretty? And they also make a very nice office-to-evening outfit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, both models are wearing the chevron necklace and bracelet, which will be seen in Campaign 14. Both come in the gold and silver tone. Now we have Rhonda and Jill in two more casual looks. Actually, the top which Jill has on might look a little familiar since it's the same oh, yes. Persian <laughs> floral as your draped front skirt. Here we have it in a vest-like blouse, which is very popular this summer. We've paired it this time with walking shorts, Dusty Rose walking shorts, which actually the same ones I have on in the oh, washed yes. Fuji. They're extremely comfortable. Mm -hmm. Rhonda has on the Desert Rose Chemise dress, also in washed Fuji. The beauty about this dress is someone can either wear it with a belt, wherever they want to accentuate their waist or their hips, or can wear it loose and flowing, depending on what's best for their particular body type. That's lovely. And both models are wearing Fandangle earrings, which will be seen in Campaign 17, and they are available in both gold and silver tone. Jill is also wearing Tender Memories Necklace and Charms, which will be introduced in Campaign 18. The necklace can be worn alone or with any one of the four charms or all of them. Now, Aaron, to close, we have three great casual looks. Mm. Aren't they pretty? Lovely. This is a story about mixing fabrics. Uh -huh. Both Inca and Rhonda have on woven cotton poplin shirts, which we've combined here with a heavy...